Hello, I want to make an effect like this at the top of my website's home page, which is all the rage at the moment. There's loads and loads of websites that have got this type of an effect. Um, it's just a great big image with a bit of text on top of it, and then it's got boxes underneath. All I'm going to do is add this image with the text. Now I'm using Genesis Framework and uh, a theme called Dynamic Website Builder. So if I go to in my WordPress dashboard, go to Genesis, Dynamic Design, and we've got these options. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> now, this is what we've got at the moment. We've got this nav bar at the top and then some boxes below. But I want to add another box under the nav bar and above these boxes here. So to do that, I want to go to Genesis Dynamic Design, Easy, and I scroll down the page and look for Feature Top easy widget areas. I'm going to add it on the home page. I'm going to pull it outside the inner div which will mean it will span the full width of the page and I'm going to choose just a single box easy feature top one. There's loads of different uh, choices but we're using feature top. Uh, there's, there's fat footer and loads of other ones. Now I'll just save that and we can see what I'll, I'll show you what, what I'm doing. Now here that's going to a box is going to appear. See that box there. So, what we need to do now is to add some content inside this box. So we need to go. I made the content in an ordinary um, WordPress. I made a page, a WordPress page, and just added the content because then I can use the WYSIWYG editor to add the content. There's actually a button there, but it's a white button on a white background, so you can't see it. Um, but that's what I did. I just added my content, formatted it and then click the text button and you need to copy the code. The reason we did it that way is because we can add images and things, it's easy to add things. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste that into a widget. So appearance, widgets, and because I've added that, um, that easy widget area, I've now got an easy feature top widget area that I can paste things into. So I'm going to do a text widget, drag that into the widget area. Oh, there we go. Feature top, that's the one. Paste our thing in there, our text, and there was a bit of. Yeah. I'm going to have to go back to the widgets. Oh, we, where did we get to? It was in pages, weren't we? Alt pages that one there. I want to copy that as well. Paste that in the uh, title area of the widget text widget. We'll say that. Well, I'm going to add paragraphs. Click save. Now this content should be in our widget area. So let's find our widget area and see if anything's changed. See, you can only just see the button there, um, but that's that's the text we used. Now we're going to format that in a minute, but what we need to do now is to add the background image. So, back in our feature top easy widget area, we'll look for this little house and choose no, no, no repeat image center. And I've already uploaded an image, so I've got that. It's called a big road. We'll save our changes. To use background images in Dynamic Website Builder, you've got to upload them through the uh, Genesis Dynamic Design and the Images section. If you don't upload them here, they won't be available to use as background images. So, back to where we were. There we go. Uh, let's see if anything's changed now. So now we should have the... Well, we won't be able to see much of the background image because the, the, the image is down below around the edge of the image is this sort of dark border. Now what do we need to do? What we need to do is add some custom CSS. So what I want to do, I want to increase the size of the headlines is feature top widget heading font. I'm going to make that 5.6, that's rem. And this one's going to be 2.6 rem, just increases the size of the font. I want to change the color to white and I'm going to add some custom code in here. 
Now these buttons, when you see the button there, you can open that button and add custom code. Now you can either type it by hand or you can use this CSS builder. I want to add, I want to the text to be aligned center and I want font size, did I increase the font size? I think we've done that already. Font weight, font style. Oh, I know I've got some uh, some slides so I don't forget. <laughs> what did we want to change? Bold center or text shadow. So we made it, we've got center, we want bold. So we'll have bold, center. I want to add a, a shadow and text shadow. And color, we're going to have black. And I also want to add padding to one of these uh, text boxes. So I want to add margins and padding. And it's, I want to add a hundred to the top and bottom. So there we go. Now I'm going to highlight that, cut it, and paste it into this box. Now this one I don't want the padding, so I'm going to remove that. It was just easier to do it that way. And that's the head the headlines. And now I'm going to do the text, just the, the body text of our widget area. And this one I do want the padding, so I'm going to leave it there. Click save changes and see what it looks like now. Right. Now if you do you see the image moves when I scroll. If that's all you want, then that's it, the job's done. What I want to do, I want to make the image stay still while the, the, the page moves, which is a really popular look at the moment. So all I need to do now is go back to, I'll close some of these so we get less confusing. I need to go to, um, I want to view the front end. So where I want to go now, Genesis, Dynamic Custom, and this button here, custom CSS activate front end CSS builder this is really useful so you click that little button that little tick box click save changes and then you click click to view front end now this little CSS builder button there click that and then click this enable element selectors see this easy feature top there if we click that see it's gone green it means that we're editing this section and it's automatically added this. This is the selector we need. So if we click that, it puts that selector into the edit box. And all I want to do now is to, I want to add the background. And it's going to be no repeat image, center fixed. That's the only thing we're changing, it's fixed. We're gonna make this background image fixed. Uh, choose the image, which is what we were using before. You don't need to do both of these. If you've already set the background and you don't care if it scrolls, then, then you're finished. Um, now I want to put that in there. So we've got no repeat image, center fixed, and you've chosen the image, which mine's called the big road. Put that in there. Now, what we've got to do, we've got to put this code from in here into a box underneath. So we click, we, we, we've set the code in there. Now we click this button and it pastes it into the box underneath. Click save changes. And then what we'll do, we'll go back to our website. This is what I had before. You see, it doesn't, the image moves as we scroll the page. But what we wanted it to do is stay still. So now if we move it, see the image stays still. Right, well, that's how we do it. I've made some slides because it can get a bit confusing. Go back to the beginning. This is what we're doing. We're going to make a, a front page that looks like this. And these are the settings. We needed to go to Genesis, Dynamic Design, scroll down the page to find Feature Top, Easy Widget Areas. Um, and these are the settings I used. And then I pasted in this code. I made it using the, uh, the, the CSS Builder. And I pasted this code into these two boxes, custom boxes here, which were for Feature Top Widget Heading fonts and Feature Top Widget Content fonts. I copied code from the WordPress um, 
page editor to make just so I could make HTML easily and I used the text tab to copy the code so I was actually copying code and not just content and I pasted it into a text widget in the easy feature top one widget area and then I used this click to view front end to edit the CSS um, so we could add the, the scrolling image and then I had to click this button to enable the selectors then you click this one and you click this button to add the selector this code here click that button puts it in there and then you um, add the background CSS here then you've got to click that button puts it in here make sure when you click this button that it actually goes inside the curly braces sometimes it appears outside the curly braces so you'd have to copy and paste it and put it back inside the curly braces if, if that happens once you've got the code working you click this second button and that pastes the code from this kind of edit box into the final box here and then you need to save your changes and if you do that you'll get this sort of result anyway thanks for watching and bye for now